Hi everyone, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG and in this video I will be showing you how to plug in a microphone such as the newer lapel microphone which uses the 3.5 millimeter plug into the Zoom H4n. So the first thing I am gonna do is I will turn my Zoom on so I can show you the different options. And while it's loading in the back here, this is where you will plug the microphone. So just like this. While this microphone is plugged in, it disables the two built-in microphones. Then if you go in the menu, in input, you have the plug-in option here, which you can turn on or off. And what does and this does is some microphones, for example, the newer lapel microphone, does need some plug-in power in order to function correctly. So by giving it the power there, everything is going to work well. And if you're not sure if your microphone needs it or not, uh, start by not using it and see what it looks like. And let me demonstrate here. So if I press the record button, testing, testing, you're going to see as I talk, it doesn't do anything. There's a lot of noise here, but that's it. So I'll get out of here, go back in the menu, input, and scroll to the plug-in power, turn it on. Get back out, and this time, if I press the record button, you're gonna see, and as I get this closer, that this functions correctly. And again, I try to get a balance between when I'm talking, I want it to go around the minus six decibel range. So a bit lower than right now. And that way your sound is not gonna clip if you talk louder. If I'm silent, you can see there's still a bit of noise here. So using the rec level, I can lower it down so there is no sound left in the audio. Then you can go in Adobe Audition and remove any little bit of sound remaining, but that should give you a pretty noise free clip to work with. So that's it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and useful. As always, hit the subscribe button up here, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks!